Okay, I decided to make this video to give a few ideas to people on ways to speed up their netbook. Uh, this is a Asus EEE uh, 1005HAB. It has the Intel N270 processor. It originally had 1 gig of RAM and then a 160 gig hard drive. Um, first thing I did on this was to upgrade from the 1 gig of RAM to 2 gigs of RAM. Um, I did recently find out that with this uh, 945G chipset, uh, the chipset limitation is actually 4 gigs of RAM, um, but Asus specs this at a limitation of 2 gigs of RAM. So I did recently order a 4 gig stick for another PC. Uh, I'm going to try it in here, see what it see what it does, um, and I will report back later on that. But a few things you can do here is definitely go through, clear out any programs that you don't want or need. Um, I use this uh, netbook just for web surfing when I'm traveling for work, so I got rid of any of the trial software uh, there was gaming software for uh, simple games that uh, Asus has on here. It, it's great if you want to download and try games, but then of course it wants you to buy everything. It gives you a, a trial period and then wants you to buy it, so I got rid of that. Uh, the Asus Vibe software got rid of that. Um, got rid of uh, word processing software. Just basically anything that I really didn't need uh, and that helped out a decent amount. Next thing I did was uh, startup. Um, there's a lot that happens on startup, uh, a lot of processes that are started. Um, you can use a program like uh, CCleaner or Glary Utilities. Um, both do a really good job as far as uh, not only cleaning up your system with the one-click maintenance, but um, if you go into modules, uh, one of the modules has a startup manager, and it will show all the processes um, that are started when Windows starts up. Um, I had a lot of stuff on here. Some of the stuff was pre-installed stuff that just had no reason to start up when computer starts. I, I really don't need Java Update or Adobe or any of that stuff starting up. Um, my uh, uh, SpyBot Search and Destroy Tea Timer, that thing gets really annoying, so I went ahead and turned that off as well. Um, so once I slim down the, the processes that start up um, when Windows starts, that helped out quite a bit as well. Uh, Two of the functions that I left that uh, Asus installs is the EEE docking. There's some functionality that I'm not sure if I'll lose that functionality when I remove EEE docking. So if anyone has any information on that, please let me know. If you've removed it and have had good luck since then, please definitely let me know. Uh, the other thing is the uh, EEE Super Hybrid Engine. I went ahead and kept that because this is how you can uh, uh, change how how the computer's performing. Usually I leave it in auto mode. It, when it's in auto mode and it's plugged in, it'll go into high performance. Uh, when you unplug it, you'll see it changes to power saving. Um, so there is a get that plug back in. See it jumps back to high performance, auto high performance. If you right click on it, there is a super performance mode. It won't go into that automatically, but when you click on it manually, it'll go into super performance mode. And it definitely gives a, a little bump in performance. Um, Windows Experience processor will jump from 2.2 to 2.3 um, and also if you're online playing games uh, you'll see there's less lag uh, 
when it's put in super performance mode. Um, so that helps out as well. Another thing is uh, Ready Boost. You can use a SD card or or a thumb drive. Uh, you just plug it into your system and you can set it up for Ready Boost. I'll show you here real quick. On my computer you'll see that the SD card looks like it's maxed out here. It's actually not. It's set up for Ready Boost. If you go to Properties and select Ready Boost, um, you can dedicate uh, the whole device to Ready Boost or uh, use you if you select use this device for Ready Boost, then you use the slide meter to select how much of it you want to use towards Ready Boost. And basically, what it does is it works like um, virtual memory. Virtual memory usually uses hard drive space, but it's a little more sluggish and slow, whereas uh, SD card and, and thumb drive are uh, they work faster than, than what the hard drive does. <clears throat> so it helps give you a little performance boost there when, when it's usually uh, using virtual memory. Um, now, some SD cards and some thumb drives are not able to, to uh, do ready boost. It all depends on the quality of whichever uh, uh, item you're trying to use. So, at any rate, I have a 2 gig uh, SD card installed and I'm using the whole thing towards ready boost and it definitely gives an increase in performance. If you go here to computer you'll see here my my rating is 2.3 for uh, Windows Experience Index. Um, another misconception that people have, they see this uh, uh, 1.6 gigahertz, 1.6 gigahertz. If you go into Device Manager you'll see it shows up as two processors. Um, yes, on like the Core 2 Duo processors it'll show up like this and it's because it has two cores. Uh, but the Core 2 Duo does not have hyper-threading. These Intel Atom processors uh, utilize hyper-threading and that's what makes it show up as two processors. It's not actually, or, or two cores, it's not actually two cores it's a single core processor, but uh, because it utilizes hyperthreading, it shows up as two processors under Device Manager. And on system uh, information, it shows up as uh, two cores. So, at any rate, on Windows Experience Index, um, Processor is 2.3, memory 4.5, graphics 2.3, gaming graphics 3.0, and primary hard disk is 5.5. Um, it's a decent increase from what it was before I started all this. Uh, it definitely navigates just fine going through the internet, uh, playing games on like Facebook and stuff like that. It, it works absolutely fine. Uh, whereas when I first got it, it wouldn't even load some of the games. So, uh, I am open though if you have any suggestions as far as other things to do to uh, boost the performance on these. Just please let me know. And I will be posting a message um, in a few days when my 4 gig stick of memory shows up. I'm going to pop it in here, give it a shot, and see what happens. Uh, if it runs and, and it boosts performance uh, even more, I'll definitely let you all know. Uh, hope this helps someone out there, and uh, if you have any feedback, let's hear it. Thanks.